Hey guys, uh, this is Richie with uh, Fire Tutorial 101. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on uh, sticks, uh, which is spelled S T Y K S, I believe. Let's find out. S T Y K Z. My bad, not S Z. You know, it's cool with Z. Today we're going to be going over basic command controls on the uh, tutorials. Uh, there's going to be five tutorials probably. Uh, first one will be the command controls. Second one's going to be the um, the creating of the the creating of the characters. Third will be animating the characters, like how to move them and stuff. Fourth will actually be putting the animation into motion. So let's start with the first one, which is basically learning the controls. File is here. This is like new, open, closed, like a regular file. Edit is regular. Undo, copy, cut, paste. Figure is a little different. Now, there's something you need to know about these figures. They consist of lines, circles, and nodes. Nodes are the things, these little blue dots that turn red when I touch them. They are what lets you control it. They're nodes, they're waypoints in the body. So this is a single node. If you click this, it'll just drop a little dot. And that's it. All it is is a little dot. Nothing, nothing special. Um, now, line, if you click single line, it'll make a single line. Nothing special, once again. Uh, there's boxes, circles, or squares and circles. So there's just square. Nothing special once more. The only thing that's different about this is it'll move like this instead of being, um... Oh, it does come apart. Look at that. And you can unroll it. I did not know that. I learned something new, just like you guys. Uh, it's got circles, stick figure. Uh, this is a pivot figure. This red one right here is a pivot figure. This one's a sticks figure. The sticks figure is different because it's, um, more, as you can tell, it's fatter. It has, uh, more of a... A defined body look to it. Uh, sticks figures are puny anorexic things. Um, a range is a, what you'll see in most animating programs is a range. Basically that's like send the back, bring the front, send farther, bring closer. Um, sending to back will be basically bring to the back of it so that you won't see, you won't see it over certain things. Um, bring the front. Uh, if we click on this guy, we go to uh, Let's go to range and move to center stage. We'll move to the center of the stage. That's basically your moving stuff. View. Uh, view is like edit mode. Is like um, basically what you see here. If I click it off, you'll notice that if I click off edit mode, or if I click preview, um, it'll take away all the boxes except the the display window. Show nodes in front is basically it'll show the the dots. It'll show these dots in front of other things. Uh, Anti-aliasing, just keep on. I don't even know what it does. Show backdrop. Okay, so this is basically, like, if you notice when I click that, this all in blue. That's so you don't get distracted by your back, your background or anything. You can hide that. I don't really like it. Windows are your basic windows that you have open. So you have your stage, you have your stage properties, your controller, your commands, your library, and your frames. Basically, what you want to do is, uh, helps another thing, I'm sorry, help. That's basically like if you want to look for um, little things or hints, you can show hints for the day. I don't do that because I know it. Um, that's as far as the stage piece goes. It was on the stage. Now what we want to do, we want to go to the tools on the stage. These are the tools right here. So you got your cursor, which looks exactly the same as the cursor I have out, the black one. And that's basically for clicking it and then dragging the points so you can wave. Hi, how you doing? I'm waving. Um... The white one is different now. It's sub selects. Sub select means you can select the not the points but the the arms, the lines. So if I wanted, I can make these different colors, and then you can select the head, and you could make the head a different color and the fill a different color. This is a polygon fill. I like this. This is really cool. Pivot doesn't have this. Sticks does. You click here, click here. You can click it. Oops, I didn't click it. You gotta keep clicking. You click three or more, it says. You click the middle one, and then you bring it out to here. And it fills it. So now when you drag, it's almost like he has a web under his arm. Isn't that cool? He's like, Arr, I'm a scary guy with a web under my arm. Um, let's undo that. If I go into edit, undo. Uh, control Z, control Z, control Z. Anyways, uh, next up is the line tool. This is for adding lines. So say you want that feet. Click here and drag out. It just adds lines to them. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, it doesn't like when I don't click the lines. And then circle is a different thing. So we don't have a ball on his hand. And this will stick to his hand, but now he's got a ball on his hand. There you go. It's a basketball. Woo! Dribble, dribble, dribble. He's going to make the shot. Um, 
Let's just undo all that. File. New. And then it all stays the same. And when you click new, note to yourself, it will open another one and will keep your old one. This one not save that. Alright, so now what you can do. Uh, other controls are when you select the figure, it has the width of his line. So if you see, if I change this to 12, he'll get skinny. I don't want him skinny. Maybe I want him fat. Let's change it to 20. I want a fat stick. Ooh, he's fat. Look at him. I'm fat too, so I can't say that. Um, color. So if I want to change his color, I'll just click this and I'll come up with a little color selector. So I want him to be yellow. He's a super saiyan. Ooh. Uh, we'll go segments and circles. So now it fills everything yellow. So then we can go to scale. This is like how big he is. If you look, when I click this down, it clicks him smaller or bigger. That's good if you want to make a circle scene. You can make them circle around each other. Angle. It'll actually change the angle. It'll make them fall. Ah, oh, I'm falling. You know. Um, I put a lot of animation into my talking. I don't know why. I'm actually moving my hands right now. You can't see it though. <laughs> I'm weird like that. Flip is um kind of self-explanatory. It'll flip to the. You can't see it now, but if I were to drag his arm up, if I were to drag his arm up like this, drag his arm up. There we go. I hit flip and flip him back and forth like that. See? Flip him horizontally and then flip him. I think that's vertically actually. No, vertically and then horizontally. You can flip him up and down. Flip him back this way. He's dancing. Um, I'm gonna keep going. So these are like a line. This is like a line left, a line center, a line right, a line top, middle, bottom. And you can line them in different positions. Commands. We have play, add stick, add pivot, delete, edit, center, flip, color, scale, front. It's all self-explanatory pretty much. This is just showing you overview. Controller, if you play, you play what you have so far. Done, because I didn't make anything. Your library is where you store all your things you've made so far. I've made a lot of stuff so far. Uh, frames, these are like your frames. If you hit enter, you make new ones. We'll get to that later. Oh, oops. I made two cityscapes right now. So you hit enter, make new ones. So there's another frame, there's another frame. Uh, just make frames. Uh, that basically includes this tutorial. I mean, there's not much to talk about right now. Uh, this is just the basic stuff, the basic, basic stuff. But uh, once you get over this, you can do some pretty amazing stuff with this program. I'll show you later. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.